If you're new to the home barista game, you probably read or heard somewhere about single dosing. So you're probably wondering what the fuss is all about. Tune in to this video where we will be covering the topic of single dosing and stick around until the end of the video where we'll be covering another very important topic closely related to single dosing. Hello friends, my name is Goran from the Majestic Bean channel. In today's video, we'll be covering the topic of single dosing. Single dosing refers to leaving your bean hopper empty and pre-dosing and pre-weighing each individual dose per demand. Filling the hopper with a full bag of beans exposes those beans to the outside elements such as heat, moisture and sunlight. So the whole point of single dosing is keeping the beans as fresh as possible. So here is how single dosing works. You take your bag of beans and your scale and you weigh out your desired dose. So if I was making an espresso, I will be dosing 19 grams of coffee. Single dosing works for all other brewing methods, such as pour over, French press, AeroPress, etc. So if I was making a V60 pour over today, I would have dosed between 15 to 30 grams of coffee, depending on how thirsty I am. After you're done weighing the coffee, throw it in the grinder and you're off to the races. Now here is the little twist to this video. Most people would weigh their dose, put it in the grinder, and then straight after that, they would start making their coffee, their espresso or their pour over. But they're forgetting a very crucial and important part and that is grinder retention. Grinder retention, also known as single dosing tax, is the amount of coffee your grinder keeps when you're single dosing. In other words, with most grinders, the amount of coffee you put in is not the same amount of coffee you get out. Some grinders keep a shitload of coffee, whereas other grinders have zero retention. But this topic is for another video. So if you're planning on single dosing, it's very important to do your own research and find the best grinder for your budget. The way to be consistent when you're single dosing is to take account that your grinder might retent some coffee. That's why you should probably dose a bit more than what you need and also it's very important to weigh your dose and also to weigh the coffee after you're done grinding. That's how you ensure you're always consistent and you also get a perfect cup of coffee every time you single dose. Now I'm gonna pass the ball to you guys. Let me know in the comments below what your experience is with single dosing. Is it something that you have incorporated in your workflow on a daily basis? or you think this is just a waste of time. Also, this is the perfect opportunity to let me know what your thoughts are on grinder retention and also how you minimize it. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, you can buy us a coffee by pressing the PayPal link in the description below. In the same description, you can find the links to all of the equipment we use on this channel. And while you're there, Check us out on social media at TM Bean channel on Instagram and Facebook. With that being said, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.